is going on hustlers yeah it's pretty dark today right so that's because we are up before the birds this morning the rooster has not crowed man why are we up oh that's right it's flea market day we're off to make some money hoping to set up today with the GoPro setup and record some footage of people in their shopping so you guys can get an idea. I'll try to run down the tables. Uh, we're not doing the dollar concept today. Today we are laying out regular merchandise um, at whatever the price. Whatever somebody wants to spend, that's what I'll take. Right? We're in this to make money. Alrighty, hustlers, catch back with you in a few.
Caden, being a, a smart aleck, glued a quarter to the pavement to see how many people would stop and bend over to pick it up. It got me. I thought I dropped a quarter, and first thing I did was go over to pick it up. Well, the hustle and bustle from the market is over with for the day. So we, after we got out of there, I packed everything back up in the trailer, took it to the storage unit, put the stuff in the unit, got the trailer back over to U-Haul, ran and grabbed a bite to eat because I hadn't eaten since, I don't know, five this morning. So sat down, relaxed, talked with a friend of mine at the restaurant, and then um, just craziness. While I was at the storage unit, I had to pick a couple items that had sold on eBay. A handful, like five or six items. And I can't find one. Wow, that sun is brutal. Sorry guys, it's a little dark because uh, if I open that up, I can't see where I'm driving. I'll be out of this sun here in a minute, but um, it just, I hate being in disarray right now. You know, I thought I had a good grasp on a lot of the items that we have inventory numbers on and what bin they were in, but it's bugging me that I can't find this one item. So I shot back over to uh, the office space we have because there's a handful of items left there that all be out of there this week. But I didn't think anything that we had listed was still there. I thought it was all just merchandise waiting to be listed. And then our like furniture and that type of stuff. But uh, I can't find it. It's driving me nuts. Normally, we're very well organized with where our inventory is, what bin it's in, and I moved a bunch of stuff around when we started moving stuff into those storage units that um, was, uh, you know, I combined a bunch of units and consolidated, and I thought I had tracked all the numbers moving over, and I'm wondering if I just missed it. So I'm on my way back to the storage unit now to try and find this missing piece of inventory because the last thing I want to do is send that message saying, hey, sorry, you bought an item, but I can't find it. And let alone, don't need the ding on my account. And so, craziness we go through as resellers, right? And I'm sure every one of us has been there not able to find an item. And I know if I turn around and send that message and say, hey, I can't find it, I'll trip over it my very next visit to where our inventory is at. Just crazy. But I uh, kind of want to talk about the market. Slow day. This was my first time ever going to the market was today. I don't think I'd ever do it again. I don't think I'd put that kind of effort in. I mean, whew, I'm exhausted. But um, it, it's, it's very humid out today. It's, you know, fall. People are on apple picking. All kinds of different activities going on. A lot of vendors there. Not as much as people wise, and a lot of people were looking and nobody was really buying. You know, and at first I thought maybe you know it's us, maybe it's where we were at located because we're not always at the same spot. Maybe it's the merchandise I have, you know, it's I started scratching my head thinking, you know, what what could it be? Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Talked with several other vendors there and they were just like, this is one of the worst days that they've had all year. So it tells me, hey, it's not just us. It's not just our stuff. Everybody was seeing it at the market today. So that was like, okay, I can kind of stop the what ifs and say, okay, it's just a bad day at the market. So, you know, a buddy of mine did, did very well. He's not sure how he pulled it off, but you know, if I would have made the numbers he was making, I would have been happy. You know, we still made a profit. We made money today. So in the end, it's it's a good day because you make money. We covered all of our fees, plus put some money in our pocket. But, uh, you know, when you start thinking about it as a, whew, an hourly wage, that's when you, you don't want to look at it because you figure, you know, for the eight hours of being down in the market, I probably put in 15, 16 hours between sorting the merchandise, pricing it, throwing it into the containers, loading it up, taking it down there, setting it up, packing it back up, loading it back in the trailers, putting it away, all that jazz. I probably spend a good 15, 16 hours. And when you start figuring that against what you profit, 
and you see that you're making below minimum wage, you're kind of like, oh, why am I doing this, right? But we all know the bigger picture, you make good money. So it's, you got to take the bad with the good. You can't just have all the premium days where you're making $100 an hour, $200 an hour, $300 an hour, you know, or in some cases, thousands of dollars an hour, depending on how big your operation is. You know, sometimes you got to take those bad days with the good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, clips from the uh, flea market today. I know I sped them up, so because uh, I recorded, I just left the camera sitting up on a clothing rack and let it record um, the entire time we were down there. Uh, it missed a couple blocks of times when I had to recharge batteries. I brought four batteries with me, and uh, the charger I have only holds two batteries at a time. So there were cycles where you know, I lost a gap because when I showed up, I only had one full battery and a partial battery. My fault for not double checking them last night. It's kind of a last minute, grab the camera on the way out the door, it's way. Oh, man, I'm whooped between the heat and the long day today, it's just killing me. You know, here it is uh, six o'clock at night and when I first recorded the, the beginning of this video, it was like 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning. So, um, I got up at 4.30, so yeah, it was probably like 5 by the time I showered, got dressed, and got out in the car. That's why I load the, the truck the day before. You know, otherwise, there'd be days that I'd wake up and be like, nope, not going to the market today. Because you just don't feel like getting out of bed. But... If it's loaded, ready to go, all you gotta do is turn the key. Why not go make some money? Alrighty, hustlers, I want you to uh, continue to explore your area, come up with alternative marketplaces. Please like, comment, share this video with those who you love. Let us know what you're doing, what marketplaces you found to sell your items. Let us know how your business and your journey to freedom is going. All right, hustlers, get out there and go do. Wow, quick update for you. I'm such an idiot. Shows you how tired I am today. So, the whole time, that inventory number was in the spreadsheet telling me exactly what bin it was in. I needed to scroll up on the spreadsheet to see the rest of the inventory items. I was only looking at a small fraction of what was in that bin. Oh, I saved myself a couple of hours. I could have already had this item in my hands when I was here earlier. This is why you need a good inventory system. I can't wait to have our web-based system back up and running with an accurate inventory. Because when I need to come pick stuff, I literally print out a list and boom, here's where you got to go. Here's what you got to pick. Done. Working off of uh, Google Sheets right now is killing me. But, why is our system down? Oh, because some genius, me, uh, decided he was going to rebuild it from the ground up and integrate a bunch of other stuff because the first version of it was built only for us and we've had a lot of people inquire about the software we use to manage our stuff. And I'll do a whole video when I get done with this version, but I'm building it myself. so. A lot more automated uh, features integrating with Amazon and eBay. Um, still waiting to hear back from Mercari to find out how much we can integrate with their API to be able to automate stuff. But, uh, you know, working with vendors like uh, Pirate Ship and a few others to do a lot of the steps. Now, what what is this software? Not only does it help list, manage where your inventory is, manage finances, um, it also does things like uh, Inventory Lab, prints the labels you need to send your stuff to Amazon. Um, uh, what's some of the other stuff out there? Seller Feedback, I think is, is one of the sites where they send reminders to your buyers to leave feedback for the items they purchased. Um, I have a whole list of features that I'm building into it. Um, and I'm, I'm building it so that it is uh, a multi-tenant application, which many of you may not understand what that is, but the, 
that's where I can easily add other subscribers to use the program, but they don't see my stuff, I don't see their stuff, etc. That that type of stuff. Um, kind of taking the best features that we like out of several different platforms and, and applications and molding them into one on our own. And the main reason I, I decided to build this and do it ourselves was so that we didn't incur all the monthly fees. You know, if you do inventory lab, it's 50 bucks. Oh, you want this piece? Another 50 bucks. Oh, you want this piece? Another 50 bucks. Whatever the price may be. And pretty soon, you're spending three, four, five hundred dollars or even more on software and they don't talk to each other. So, we wanted one streamlined system and we also wanted a mobile app that would interface with it so we can do kind of our research in the field. So, so there you guys go. There's a couple highlights of, uh, you know, my pains today of freaking out trying to find an item and uh, talk a little bit about the software we use to manage stuff and how I can't wait to get it back up and running. So, alrighty hustlers, I'll tell you once again, get out there and go do.